Hello, we are back. Um, today we are we're getting judgmental. We're making some judgments with throwing out opinions, opinions that nobody asked for, but I can do what I want. And today we are doing a tier list, and that tier list will be comprised of, as you can see, a tier list that is comprised of fruits, the plants they come from, and one other related item, which will become clear as this goes on. Um, if you don't know what a tier list is, it's very simple. I just have images of all of these different things I just mentioned, and I'm going to be ranking them and posting them in different categories. Um, for this round, I've got four different tiers, which I will go through now. The top tier is no notes, and I think that's pretty self-explanatory. No notes, nothing to add, nothing more to say. This has achieved all that it needs to achieve, and there's nothing more I could request of this. Level two is I'm sad, meaning you know, I'm paying attention, I'm focused, I have, my, all of my attention is directed towards you. But that doesn't mean there couldn't be notes. There could be more to add, more to improve on, you know? Level three is why. Because I'm questioning, I'm questioning your existence, I'm questioning your purpose, I'm questioning why other people like this, most importantly. And finally, delete this. This is the, the tier that I think I would feel the most passionate about because these things shouldn't exist, so why don't we just get rid of them, you know? Um, there's not much more explanation needed. Before we get into it, let me just say now, there will be background noise, and we're just going to all have to pretend that it's not there, or you can pretend that it is there, because it is, and use it as nice ambient background noise that will soothe your spirit and calm your soul, as I potentially offend you with some of these opinions. So, let's just get into it now. Okay, <clears throat> so we're starting over with a classic, probably a crowd favourite, used to be my favourite fruit actually when I was a basic child with limited taste, and that is the humble apple. Um, to be honest, I think apple, I'm just going to put in, I'm sad. And the reason being, I used to love apples when I was a child. I think I liked the, the crunch. It was fun, it was also accessible, like everywhere you go you get apples, children love apples, parents love giving children apples. Apples and clementines, those are like the number two, one and number two, number one and number two fruit that people give children. Um, and so I had a special place in my heart for apples. But as I got older, I realised they don't actually, they don't really have a lot of pizzazz. Like once you've had an apple, especially a good apple, you've kind of had all good apples. And apples are not the kind of fruit that you want to eat like super cold, at least for me. If I put, I would never put an apple in the fridge, but if I did, it's not going to hit the same way having a, like a chilled apple the same way as some other fruits, which we'll get onto later, that are the perfect cooling down summer fruit, you know? So just, I'm sad. Okay, now we have the, <clears throat> okay, now we have the plant that apples come from. Um, according to my Googles, this plant is known as Malus domestica. Um, I'm going to say, as plants go, it's, it's not, it's going to go into why, and the reason being, it doesn't really have any particular features that have, like, that catch my attention, that would make me want to grow this plant for any reason other than getting apples, um, and I, in an ideal world, will have a garden full of plants that are both interesting to look at foliage-wise, as well as serving a function of producing fruit or whatever else they produce. So as plants go, apple trees aren't particularly, you know, they're not, they don't give me all that much. They don't, I'm not, I don't get excited over apple, apple trees, to be honest. So it's going into why. Now, apple juice, however, no notes. I don't know if he needs to hear this, but let me just tell you this right now. Apple juice is always better than orange juice. Let me say it again. Apple juice is always better than orange juice. This agenda that we're supposed to have orange juice with breakfast, I need it to be scrubbed from the history books because orange juice does not taste nice in the morning in particular. But also, it doesn't really slap like that in general. Like, I will have orange juice if there's no other juice around, but only after 12pm. But I would much rather have orange juice featuring 
mango or apple or something else. Orange juice in and of itself is just not a juice that I think, oh, I would love a, a stiff glass of orange juice. And we as a society need to unlearn this message that was passed on to us by a, by a big orange and reprogram ourselves to understand that apple juice is always better than orange juice. Anyway, let me just move on before anyone gets a bit too riled up. Okay, bananas. The reason, okay, it's going into I'm sat. It's going into I'm sat above apples. Okay, let me, there we go, reorder it. Reason being, bananas in and of themselves, just as fruit that you eat, they're okay. They're there, they do, they, they do their thing, they serve a purpose, they have a function, particularly for people who like, you know, I think people have them after the gym, for potassium, something like that. There's some nutrients and what have you, fine. High potassium content, love that, lovely, lovely. However, the main function that banana serves in my life is when it's involved in other things. On pancakes, in a smoothie, banana bread, you know? It's quite a versatile functional fruit that serves purposes outside of its core fruitly duties. And that's the main reason why I respect it. If not for that, the fruit itself is kind of why, you know, it doesn't do that much for me. Um, I very rarely, in fact, I never eat banana just plain. It needs to be, it gets involved in other stuff, you know. However, the next one, banana plants, I mean... We already know, straight to no notes. No notes. Banana plants have my whole heart. Um, I don't even know if it's before or after I got mine. I think I was interested in before I got mine, but then when I got mine, it just became, I wouldn't say an obsession, but I just really began to actually internalize and appreciate the value that banana plants have in this society. They look good, they provide fruit, that's it. No, no. So what else is there to really say? Banana plants just, they... If I live somewhere that... I mean, I know you can grow banana plants outside in the UK, blah, 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 blah. However, if I could live somewhere where I could grow banana plants outside to maturity, to be fruit-bearing, without having to take a billion different steps to protect it during the winter, I 100% would have, like, an... I don't know if it could be classed as an orchard, but an orchard of banana plants. Because I just... They just, I like, I like looking at them. What else is there really to say? There is a fly. Let me go and deal with the fly. Okay, continuing. Now, <laughs> my all my real ones know what this is. I'm going to put it there, level two of no notes. All of my real ones know what this is. And if you need the explanation, I'm sorry that you now know now you're not one of the real ones, but that's okay, you can become one of us. If you grew up in the UK, I would say, I'd wager, 70% of us know what this is. This is the banana flavored amoxicillin syrup, of like antibiotic, basically antibiotics for children. They had different flavors. I think there was there was a pink one, but I don't know if it was strawberry or just berries. And the yellow one was banana. <sighs> when I tell you, I used to pretend that I was sick so that I could have just a drop of this good, good antibiotic. Bio Why am I saying antibiotics? Antibiotics. It was just, <laughs> it just tasted like sugar, pretty much with a hint of some kind of flavouring, which obviously didn't taste like banana because artificial banana flavouring doesn't taste like banana. It was delicious. And I need to know if they're still making it, actually. Not because I'm going to, like, whoa, 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 whoa. Not because I'm going to buy it and taste it for myself. I don't condone, condone the usage of medicine without doctor's advice and prescriptions and what have you. But... I just need to know if that's still a thing that, you know, the kids these days are getting into. Because if not, I feel for you. Because that was a fundamental part of my upbringing, I think. 
Oof, banana flavored antibiotics. Delicious. Okay. Mango. I'm going to put mango in no notes, but I'm going to put it between apple juice and the, the banana flavored antibiotics. So, as I was alluding to earlier, a man mango, mm, obviously, there's different types of mango, different parts of the world, etc. etc. However, the mangoes that you get in the UK typically aren't good, <laughs> number one. Number one, are not good, um, but especially the supermarket mangoes. Mm -mm. They typically come from, I think, Kenya, the ones that I see the most, especially in Tesco. I have never been satisfied with a Tesco mango from Kenya. That's nothing against Kenya. I think it's just the state of affairs in the UK. However, a good hack is to go to a local ethnic grocery what are they called they're not corner shops but they're not green grocers grocery grocers i know what i'm looking i know what i i mean when i'm when i'm looking at it but i actually don't know what i'd refer to that as i would just like refer to the specific one by name or say that shop on the corner or whatever but you know what i mean um and go there and that's where you get the good international produce now I've not actually had one yet, but I've been told amazing things about Pakistani mangoes. So my aim this summer is to get my hands on some, but typically they sell them by the box. And so I need to kind of rally together a bunch of mango lovers so we can sit down and feast together. But I've heard amazing things about Pakistani mangoes. The mangoes you get in Nigeria also slap, um, although I find them a little bit, especially the small ones, a bit too fibrous. Like you get stuff stuck in your teeth. It does taste good, like it's super, super sweet. It literally tastes like Rubicon mango. Okay, this is the issue I used to have for a long time. Drinking Rubicon mango, love that. Eating an actual mango in the UK, didn't love that. So my brain was not understanding how these two things can be so different. But it's, well, one, added sugar and what have you. But two, probably the type of mango. Because this, the mangoes that you get in Nigeria, the small ones, I don't know what the actual um, uh, cultivar is called. But they are about this big. Um, and the, when you cut it open, the inside is very bright orange, not kind of the pale orange that you get from most mangoes you find in the UK. That was a whole tangent, but all that to say, mangoes are a top tier fruit. If you don't like mangoes, I don't trust you. Mango juice is also excellent. Like, they're not gonna go into a whole separate thing, but mangoes, just nothing more to say. Now, the plant which is, I think, it's called Manga Ingifera. Mangifera Indica, that's what I meant. Mangifera Indica. Um, I'm gonna put it in, I'm sad. And that's because I like it. The foliage is interesting. Um, it's cool, it's cute. I don't know if I would get this just for foliage purposes, though. I'll get this mostly for the mangoes. And if there were no mangoes, I don't know if I would necessarily have this plant in my space however i do think it's a nice looking plant so i'm not going to be i'm not mad at it you know it's there um and the third element is the song mango by savannah i love this song i really do um so i'm going to put it at the top of i'm sat if you don't know what someone's talking about i'll link it in the description but it goes, we love you like mango <laughs> Let me just get back on track. Right. This is going to get some people heated. And I'm just going to show it before I say anything. And I don't feel bad about it. Pineapple is one of those fruits that shouldn't exist. It doesn't taste good. The texture is weird. I was going to come for the way it grows, but I think that's actually kind of cool. So I'll put that to one side. It's spiky, it's uncomfortable. Some people are allergic to it and it makes their tongue go fuzzy or something. Candied pineapple, fresh pineapple, all of, the, all of the versions. Pineapple is just not it. And for the longest time, I thought there was something wrong with me because everybody in my family loves pineapple. And so people would often bring pineapples to the house or when people are you know, serving fruit in general, they'd be like, you know what? Everybody loves pineapple, let me get pineapple or watermelon, ugh. Oh, watermelon is not on the list, but it would also be in the last category. 
But people love pineapple and I don't understand it. It's just, it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't get me going. I actually despise pineapple as a fruit and I'd rather it didn't exist. So it's going straight to delete this, no more discussion. However, I would put, yes, I would put the plant that pineapple comes from in I'm sat. The name of this plant, let me check my notes, is Ananas Comasus. Did you get that? I've been told that it's a bromeliad, which does make sense actually when you think about the structure of the top of the well, top of the fruit pineapple, but that's actually the bottom of the actual plant itself. Um, when you think about the structure of the bromeliads with um, I, ooh, my botanical terms are nowhere to be found in my brain right now, but essentially kind of like an air plant, a tillandia, which are also bromeliads, um, and like the typical bromeliads that we think of, where they have f leaves coming out from the center. This is a, I'm doing visuals <laughs> to try and demonstrate. <laughs> leaves coming from the center that along the edge have ridges like teeth or yeah, teeth, jagged edges. Uh, when you think about it, if you look at the top of a pineapple, it actually looks quite similar to a bromeliad or an air plant in terms of the structure of the leaves. So, um, that's a fun fact for me, actually, maybe not for you. Maybe you already knew that. Um, so, all that to say, the plant a leaf ahead of the actual fruit. Now, no debate, let's just put pineapple on pizza where it belongs. Straight in the bottom category, delete this. However, I would argue that it's better than the fruit itself. The fruit is nasty, the pizza is just not good. Now, I know someone is upset again, but I don't care. The Hawaiian pizza stands, they're gonna be in my comment section talking to themselves. But I would like you to hear me loud and clear when I say this. Debate your ashy elbow, not my ashy elbow, because my elbow, as you can see, is not ashy because I creamed before I started filming. Debate your ashy elbow. There is no justification for the existence of pineapple, pe pineapple, pineapple on pizza. As far as I'm concerned. If you want something sweet on your pizza, why would it be pineapple? Just think about that. Why would it be pineapple? Let me just leave you to it. Okay. Raspberries. Hmm, this is actually an interesting one. I'm going to put raspberries in. Why? And I'm surprised at myself actually, but the more I thought about it, I realized that's where it belongs. And this is this is why. Raspberry flavored things, yes. Raspberry spiced. Raspberry influenced things. Yes. Raspberry, the actual berry, fresh, raw, eaten as it by itself. Mm. Mm. I've never in my life said, mm, let me wake up today and eat some raspberries. Never. I did go through a phase where I would make like granola, yogurt, banana, a bunch of seeds and stuff into a little bowl and I would sometimes put fresh raspberry in there. However, I would only get raspberry if I couldn't get other other things. Raspberry, it tastes nice but it's just not worth the effort because if you get a punnet that's like this big and you don't use every last raspberry in the span of two days, guaranteed one of them will start molding and then the rest of them will start molding. Those things don't last more than two days in the fridge. And that gets me tight because I'm looking at all these other fruits and vegetables in my fridge. Like, do they have two heads? So no, they do not. So what is your issue and why are you so fickle? You know, it's just not, it's never worth it for me to buy fresh raspberries. I know someone's going to tell me, uh, rah, 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 rah. I'm not really trying to hear it. Unless you have some sort of super raspberry that will last in my fridge, the verdict is final. However, I do enjoy the plant that raspberry comes from. I'm gonna put it even above mango, in fact. It just looks quite cool. And I think all typically, 
Um, berries, the parts that berries come from look interesting to me. They're visually interesting. Um, maybe that's just my own association with like growing up in the UK and having like berries, plants, plants that produce berries are very, there's a rhyme there. <laughs> that wasn't funny. <laughs> um, plants that produce berries are relatively easy to come by when you just walk around, not necessarily in a, in, a, in a park, but if you're walking anywhere that has like open space, like open green space, more so than like a contained park. But if you're in basically zone four and outwards of London, you will come across in green spaces, berry, berry bearing plants a lot. So I remember walking around with people, people were picking off red currants off the tree, off the bush and stuff. Now, obviously you know I didn't eat those. We can't just be picking fruit without washing it and ingesting that. That's not my lifestyle. But they did. They, they did. Not me. But, I, and I do think I've seen, I have seen blackberries for sure. I think I've seen raspberries as well. Just about. So I think I maybe have an association with them. So that's why I'm fond of the plant. Um, more so than the fruit itself. For the reasons I've mentioned. However. Yes. Freeze-dried raspberries, if you've never had them, are so good. And I don't even know who thought of the technology to do that and why. And also who tried it the first time because why did you even think that it would work? But once I understand why, if you tasted it, after you did it, you'd be like, yes, let's do more of that. What even is freeze-drying? I'm not sure. But the first time I experienced freeze-dried raspberries was when it was not under my control. It was just like there, available and I tried, I was like, I like raspberries, not that much, but like, I like raspberries, let's try it, let's see what it's saying. Mmm, delicioso. It's like, all of the benefits of raspberries, the fresh fruit, without all the hassle of the fresh fruit, okay, minus the like, juice and the fresh tasting, tasting element, but as in the flavour, is similar, but it's a bit more sour. Um, it's got a bit of a crunch to it, so it's nice to like, when I was saying, you know, those yogurt granola bowls I was talking about, adding a bit of that across the top, just that the dusting of it, would just give it that that extra, and it would just, when it's, it's a bit sour, so it would just hit you like, ooh, love that, yes, ah, I need to, let me, let me not go on a side tangent, but freeze-dried raspberries are actually sick. Okay, final set, strawberries. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know somebody's getting tired over this. And again, I don't care. This is a dictatorship. Strawberries, the fresh fruit, again, not a fruit I would ever choose to eat by choice if there are other options. Unless the other option is pineapple. They don't taste yummy. They don't taste delicious, they don't taste tasty. They're just there. I find them very there. And I think the reason I've even put them in delete this is because I feel extra annoyed at the fact that I was sold and pushed an agenda from a young age that strawberries tasted nice. First of all, people do give them to children too. Um, so I think I got them offered to me a lot when I was younger. So I believe that I liked them because everyone else was eating them and I was eating them a lot, even though I wasn't actually thinking about whether I liked them. Two. Again, this is the UK. People here love strawberries. <laughs> and there are even certain specific associations with strawberries, like strawberries and cream. Um, do you put strawberries in Eaton Mass? If you do, then that too. Strawberries inside of Pims. All of these British things that I, again, was indoctrinated to believe that I should like. And I have now grown up into a fully fledged adult and I am here to say right now, strawberries don't taste good. Release yourselves. Strawberries don't taste good. And that's just that. I want nothing more to say on that. Right, strawberry plants. I'm a bit triggered because I'm looking at my strawberry plants over there and they do not look like the ones in this picture because, I mean, well, number one, they haven't flowered, but number two, they're just hanging off with dear life. I'm actually kind of, let me not speak ill over my plants, but if you follow my Instagram, you already know what I've been going to with that, those plants and however I do like the plant I'm going to put it in I'm sat probably above raspberry yeah the plant looks interesting um 
even before it flowers, the actual leaves look interesting. And even the petals are like kind of a red, a deep red color, and they're a bit fuzzy. So I always love that. Fuzzy plants, they did, everyone knows, like, I love a fuzzy plant. Um, and I think I like the, the fact that the leaves, they, when they get bigger and bigger, you start to see how intricate they are, but when they're small, you can't really tell. So I just like that progression, even though we've plateaued. The leaves are not getting bigger anymore, they're just there. Um, and they also sun stress. At first I thought that I was killing off my plant, but I realised they're actually just sun stressing. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, or if that's affecting it, growing, fruit, whatever, I don't know. I really don't know for this plant, but um, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the plant, definitely more so than the fruit. And finally, <laughs> I know you're like, why would it be this? But Neapolitan ice cream, i.e. chocolate, vanilla, raspberry, uh, strawberry. The reason I put it as all three is because nobody eats strawberry ice cream plain and nobody eats chocolate ice cream plain. We all eat it as a three. And so this is the closest thing I could think, the thing that came to my mind when it came, came to thinking of strawberry adjacent items. Um, sorry, I was gonna, I was, no, it's gonna go in why. And I was initially going to say it would be and I'm sad, but again, this is really becoming a moment for me to just like go and reflect on my childhood. I was convinced by them. They, all of them, that Neapolitan ice cream is good. It's nice, it's tasty, it's the ice cream to go to. But when in fact, I now realize, now that I've grown up, Neapolitan ice cream isn't actually all that. It's just, it is presented to you as like, oh, the best of all three worlds. You know, you get a bit of everything. But why would you want them? <laughs> actually, I was going to say, why would you want them together? But actually, the issue is any of them. Vanilla ice cream is boring. And should only be consumed with other things. And when I say other things, I don't mean other flavors of ice cream. I mean other things altogether. You put it on cake. You put it on apple crumble. You put it with a bit like uh, with, a, with a freshly baked cookie. But why do you want vanilla ice cream by itself? Chocolate ice cream, we don't even need to discuss it. We all know chocolate ice cream is not the one. However, mint chocolate chip, different story altogether. But chocolate ice cream, plain Jane chocolate ice cream, what's the point? Strawberry ice cream is the least bad of the... Th mm, by itself, is the least bad of the three. However, it's not good enough to save it from the judgment of all three of these are the flavours that I would not eat now as an adult that makes their own choices. I would never go for strawberry, chocolate, or plain vanilla, or Neapolitan ice cream. Literally, as the tear says, why? Why? Um, <laughs> I did not expect to have this much to say about these things, but here is the final tier list, um, the final rankings, and yeah, I'm looking at it now. I wouldn't change a thing. I stand on my decision. I stand on everything I've said. Um, so banana plant right at the top and pineapple fruit right at the bottom. That sounds about right to me. Okay, okay, okay. Music. Music. Yeah, no, I'm going to stand on it. Today, we're going to discuss I'm going to raise new album, Fountain Baby. I say discuss, we're not going to discuss it, I'm just going to talk about it very briefly. Um, a very interesting project, I am here for it, because her first album didn't really catch me the same way it caught some others, I think. Um, obviously I liked Sad Loves Love Money, but this album, I actually streamed it multiple times, back to back, and I saved quite a lot of it, and that is saying something for me. Um, my favourite song right now is Princess Going Digital. I just love the production. It reminds me a little bit of, um, wait, is it? Let me just play it, bear with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the song that reminds me a little bit of, um, I think, by Tyler the Creator. Mostly the, a bit of the intro. So if you play the intro of one and then the other, I hope that you will see, hear the similarity. It's not the production, it's more the foot, 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 foot. And I like that connection. That just makes me happy. Um, I also have been really enjoying lately Wasted Eyes. I just, the lyricism on that chorus just hit me. When, to say that you've wasted eyes on somebody, what kind of poetry is that? I've wasted my eyes on you. I 
the concept, title, the chorus, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, and my uh, last suggestion is Co-Star, which I know was a, a single, but I didn't listen to it, I can't lie. But I really enjoyed it once I heard on the album. Um, and um, in her tiny desk, she mentioned that people were getting heated because she was dragging the star signs, specific star signs. And I listened to the song and I was like, oh, yeah, she is. She is dragging some of the star signs. Not mine, don't worry, I'm safe. But if you're a, what should you say, Pisces, a Virgo, I think Libra, sorry for you. It's, it's tight, it's tight. Not for me though, but stay safe out there. Um, so that, those are my suggestions. Listen to Amore's new album, Fountain Baby. So, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like. Um, if you are confused as to what the hell is going on in this channel, welcome. My, I didn't introduce myself, my name is Benga, and on this channel we talk about plants normally. Um, and we kind of did talk about plants today, but I just felt like giving my opinion on stuff. Um, if you would like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. And if you would like to see other videos that are actually about specific plants, I will put one video right here. And if you want to see videos that are more about me and the things that I think about, then I'll put a video right here. Um, that's, that's it. Cheers.